Oh, I love this. This is the best. It gets pretty lonely out here. I can imagine. I want to regain the memories that the Kree took for me. Okay. So reference to the first movie. You are Carol Danvers, the most powerful person I knew. Way before you could shoot fire from your fists. I get in trouble for that. I can see that about you. (laughs) (laughs) But what happens when I'm finally set free? She goes crazy, no super saiyan. This movie I'll be so back good. before you know it. Lieutenant oh, Trouble. Hey, that's a great question. And you left. Mom passed away. And I got blipped oh. back. I love this. They rounded us to investigate earthbound anomalies. Monica, no! How you feeling? Like myself. Now I can manipulate wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Where's our daughter? Yes, please, Kamala. Who's Kamala? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Hi. Oh, I love How this. Do you love this? this is my grandma sent it to me in the mail. Have you ever wanted something so bad? <laughs> and it actually happened. Catch up, people, you don't watch the show. You imagined it. You must save the world. You're gonna save the world. Well, now, don't you tell me to stop. Hey. What is happening? We switch places whenever we use our powers. Higher, further, faster. Let's go. Together. Together. Hey. This BC Boys record is up. Yes, I like that trailer a lot. That was great. That was great. I feel like Marvel's at a spot, like at a point now where they can reference themselves in their trailers. Like one of the best things is the Endgame trailer when they start going through the past and it's in black and white and it brings it to the toward to the future, showing what's going on in Endgame and every, everything they went through and how far they come. I love that they did that with each of these characters and how their stories are tied together and kind of giving a retrospect for people who don't watch the shows or who are missing the shows because that's been a big complaint that a lot of people like I don't know what's going on because I don't watch any of the TV shows like a lot of people didn't watch WandaVision so when they watched Multiverse of Madness they didn't understand why Wanda was acting like that so if you get to see this trailer you get a little bit more reference and hopefully they play this in the movie theaters so it can help people when they go see it in the movie theaters as well but yeah as a fan of all three of these characters and all three of the projects that they've been in, this was great to see. And, you know, obviously some of the footage is still from the original trailer, but we kind of get some continuation from Captain Marvel, which is great. And it's still a focus on her, which I'm happy to see that because she deserves a second movie with, with focus on her. So, guys, what do you guys think about this featurette, the journey to the Marvels, showing all of their past that we've seen so far refreshing us before we get into the movie and how excited are you for the movie it still looks a lot of fun we still got we got to see some body switching stuff again i can't wait to see how much they have fun with that and how creative they can get hopefully it's not like used three times (laughs) hopefully it's used throughout the movies for a fun effect but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Like the video so the YouTube know you like my content. Attack that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to so be notified for my reviews, reactions, live discussions, and join this growing community. You can watch more content right now.